Okay, friends, I know I said we're going to get into Google Sheets here to do some coding uh, and some conversions and some formula work, which is awesome. But just like often happens, just because you're using a spreadsheet doesn't mean that you can ignore the math behind the spreadsheet. Uh, I was actually kind of excited because there's a command in Sheets called convert that allows you to convert certain things to other things. Like, for example, you can convert 12 inches into one foot in Sheets. But there's no conversion to change miles per hour to feet per second. Now, you can do that in Google, not Sheets, but actually just search Google, 35 miles per hour in feet per second, and then press enter and it'll, it'll pop it out. But in order to use Sheets to input a speed in miles per hour and have it pop out in feet per second, you actually have to know the math behind that conversion. That's what we're gonna do here to understand that math. So we know we're gonna start with a speed in miles per hour. That's the unit that's gonna be on a number. I'm not gonna put a number here, because in the spreadsheet, we'll do that. We'll type a number into a cell, and we'll know that that number is in miles per hour. And then in another cell down the way, it's gonna pop out converted to feet per second. Our job is to figure out the math to get it from miles per hour into feet per second. And we've done these before. We've done these before. Uh, the first thing we have to do is convert miles into feet, and then we also have to convert hours into seconds. So we'll just do it sequentially. First thing we can do is we can multiply by 5,280 feet is equivalent to one mile. So, using the cancellation chalk, miles goes away and we're left with feet, which is what we want. That's awesome, that's awesome. We also have to change hours into seconds. To save space here, I'm just gonna combine that all down into one hour is the same thing as 3,600 seconds. I mean, you can do it in two steps, hours to minutes, minutes to seconds, or you can just do it in one step like this. And then hours divides off, and look at the unit you're left with. You're left with feet per second, which is what you want. Now here's the catch. What number, what single number could we multiply by? If we had a number in miles per hour and wanted to change it to feet per second, what single number could we multiply by? Well, let's, let's think about it. If this is some number, times what? Well, look at the numbers that are left in the conversion. Up here, it's 1 times 5,280 times 1. That's 5,280. Over, and in the denominator, it's 1 times 1 times 3,600. So if you have a number in miles per hour, and you multiply it by 5,280 over 3,600, then you end up with the corresponding number, but it will be in feet per second. And that's the number we're gonna have to use in our Google Sheet to convert a cell in miles per hour to a cell in feet per second. Let's do it. Okay, friends, so for these next few, we're gonna set up a Google Sheet to actually answer the questions for us, if you want to. If you don't want to, you could always do them like you did up here, which was using these formulas above, and figuring out how far it takes us to stop while we're breaking. But I just started thinking, I'm like, man, this is actually a really cool place. Sheets can come in handy. So let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Let's go get a blank sheet opened up. Sheets. All right. Uh, okay, let's, uh, I'm gonna call it the two second rule rather than just calling it untitled spreadsheet. Two second rule. Exclamation point, because I'm feeling saucy. Now, before I start jumping into number six, let's think about how we did the previous questions. We ended up figuring out a breaking distance. So I'm actually going to call that uh, breaking distance D. And I'm going to put that right here. It doesn't really, again, it doesn't matter what cell you put things in. I'm, I'm going to have the formula be right here in, in B7 on mine. So I'm going to do the normal thing I do. <clears throat> Center everything. 
Okay, so at the end of the day, and this is not for number six, this is going to be for like for number eight, I think. We're going to end up with a breaking distance. The breaking distance consists of the speed you're going in feet per second. Oops, spelled second wrong. Times the time that you're breaking in seconds. So it's the speed that you're going when you start breaking times the time that you actually are breaking times a half. But we'll deal with all that later. The big thing right now is I want to be able to take a speed that's in miles per hour and put that speed here and have it spit out the corresponding speed in feet per second. That's going to come in super handy, right? So for example, in the previous one, we were going 35 miles an hour. I want to take that 35 and convert it into feet per second and put it right here in this cell. And that's why we just did the work at the board to figure out what the conversion is. And we figured out that the conversion is we have to multiply by the number 5,280 over 3,600. So in order to do that in sheets, it's actually pretty rad. Click in the cell, type equals, hit the number up here, and then hit times 5,280 divided by 36 and then press enter. And you'll notice that is exactly the number you got previously in the uh, in the lab for <clears throat> the number of feet per second a car is traveling when it's going 35 miles an hour. So for this question, you can just change it to 65 up here, press enter, and it'll update your answer to about 95 and a third feet. So about 95 feet per second. <laughs> That's a really, really cool way of setting up a function in Sheets where you can put an input here and then have it cascade down here. And then later we'll use this value over here. Kind of cool, huh? All right, let's move on to the next question.